In the 18th century, Negros Island was just one big expanse of grasslands with few houses and only meager resources made available for farming. But since the discovery in the 1860s of the island's fertile volcanic soil, which was suitable for sugarcane planting, settlers began coming in great numbers. Sugar was gold in Negros, particularly in Negros Occidental. When the Suez Canal opened in 1869, the demand for sugar increased. This prompted sugarcane farmers in Negros to step up production. And business was good. From these farmers rose the many sugar mill barons that later on became hacienderos who appropriated for themselves and their families large tracts of sugarcane lands. Many of these haciendas are still in existence today. A sizable area of these sugarcane plantations is located in and around Silay City. Located in the northwestern shores of Negros Occidental along the river that bears the same name, Silay became one of the prime commercial centers in the island. From Bacolod City, it only takes a 30-minute jeepney ride traversing 18 kilometers of well-paved roads to reach the city of Silay. Besides its distinction as a top-notch sugarcane producer in the country, Silay City is also famous for its ancestral houses. Many of these houses were built by the Hacienderos and their descendants as early as the close of the 19th century up to the years preceding the Second World War. These old houses attest to the grandeur and victory of the opulent sugar industry. These mansions reflect the sophisticated lifestyle and fine taste of the Negros Hacienderos. Among the many beautiful houses in the city is the house formerly owned by Don Bernardino Halandoni and his wife Doña Isabel, who lived in the city at the turn of the century. Referred to by the locals as the Halandoni Mansion, its design was inspired by the Nipa Hut. The Halandoni couple, wanting their house to last long after them, had to import hardwood from Indoro for the floors, staircase and windows, while the steel tray ceilings were imported from Hamburg in Germany. Because of the magnificent effort to maintain and restore the Hollandoni house, it was declared a heritage house in 1993, making it the first national historical landmark in the city, 85 years after it was constructed. Following suit, 30 other ancestral homes in Tilai City were declared as historical landmarks soon after. Presently, the Halandoni Mansion is a museum showcasing valuable possessions collected by the family through the years. It is truly inspiring to realize how rich our culture as Filipinos have become. The Bahay na Bato architecture, which has become a distinct architectural wonder, is one that makes us proud of our heritage. <laughs>